students, welcome to the ICT Grade 7 learning session on the social and economic effects of using computers in learning. In this video, you will learn about traditional classroom learning, what is e-learning and what tools are used during this process, its benefits and drawbacks. You will also perform some quick tests followed by a recap and a short assessment. Let's start the lesson by having a look at a picture showing traditional learning. As you can see, there is a teacher present in the classroom together with her students and making use of a book. In this type of setting, there is instant feedback. Now, let's have a look at another way of learning, that is learning by making use of computers. To do that, we shall perform an observation test together and you will have three seconds to answer each question during the test. The picture shows a student learning by making use of a laptop. Observe the picture carefully and answer the questions which follow. Is the student in a classroom or not? No, the student is not in a classroom, but at home. Moving to the next question. Is there a teacher at that location? Again, the answer is no, as the student is learning alone without a teacher. Last question. Is the student using a book? Again, the answer is still no, as the student is learning by using only his laptop. So after this test, we have observed that the student is not in a classroom, he is not interacting with his teacher or friends, he is not using any books, but in fact, he is only making use of his laptop to learn. This is an example of e-learning. What is e-learning? It stands for electronic learning, which means learning using digital devices and electronic educational resources. Having said so, Let's have a look at the tools that we use when practicing e-learning. The students can use a computer, laptop, tablet PC, a smartphone, a headset or speakers, but also they need to have access to educational resources like a CD or internet to access websites. Now, let's consider the benefits of e-learning. Students can practice it anywhere, like at home or a library. Moreover, it can be practiced at any time suitable to the learner. With e-learning, students can start and complete a lesson at their own pace, depending on their ability. Another benefit is that any part of the lesson can be stopped, repeated many times and continue at a later time. Students get engaged with the use of multimedia which make lessons more interesting and easier to understand. However, there are also some drawbacks when practicing e-learning First, a student may feel isolated because there is no face-to-face -face interaction with teacher or friends. Second, less motivated students find this way of learning difficult because they will be responsible for their own learning. 
Now, if students don't have access to digital devices or sometimes to the internet, they will not be able to practice e-learning. Last, people who are not at ease with technology will equally feel uncomfortable to practice e-learning. So, students, we have already learned what is e-learning, how different it is from traditional learning, what tools are used during this process, together with its benefits and drawbacks. Now, let's do a quick test together to see what you have learned today. You will be allowed three seconds to answer. Which one of these two pictures shows a student practicing e-learning? Is it picture A or picture B? I'm sure you have chosen picture B because it shows a student making use of digital devices during learning. Can you recognize which tools among these are used during e-learning? Laptop, book, CD or whiteboard? The correct answer is the laptop and the CD because these are digital devices. E-learning can be practiced at home. See whether it is true or false. True, because students can learn anywhere provided they have access to devices and learning resources. Students need a book to learn a lesson during e-learning. It is false because we use digital devices like CD or a website to access learning resources. The students should work at one go to finish a lesson. It is false because a student can stop the lesson, repeat it as many times as he needs, and finish the lesson later. A student may feel isolated during e-learning process. It is true because the student may find himself alone with no interaction with teacher or friends. Well, students, this is the end of our quick test. I hope you have been able to get all your answers correct. Now, it's time to have a recap of what we have learned today. E-learning stands for electronic learning, that is, learning by making use of digital devices and electronic resources. With classroom learning, there is face-to-face -face interaction with teacher and friends, whereas with e-learning, this is not so. In a classroom, students make use of books, whereas with e-learning, students make use of CD or websites. E-learning can be practiced anywhere and at any time. Lessons can be stopped and continued later so that the students can learn at their own pace. The students get engaged with multimedia, which make lessons more interesting and easier to understand. However, 
with e-learning, since there is no face-to-face -face interaction, a student may feel alone. Less motivated students will find it difficult to succeed. E-learning is only possible if students have access to digital devices or a website or if they are comfortable with technology. Please pause this video and attempt this exercise by recording your answers on a piece of paper. Once you have finished, you may resume the video to check whether your answers are correct. Dear students, thank you for your attention. I hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson on e-learning. It's goodbye from me and see you soon.